Hello guys, welcome to a new series, Urban Design on City Skylines with me, Praced. We are going to be making a new city on this very awaited game. Um, I have received it a little bit late because I've been busy doing many other things. However, I would like to get you guys into creating realistic cities. So, uh, I'll tell you what is planned up. Uh, so what we are doing is we are making obviously a city. Uh, the name is Santa Arcangelo um, We're going to try and make this as realistic as possible while still creating lots of design aesthetically pleasing um, I guess you could say uh, designs for this city uh, Try and make it function probably like a city um, one thing that uh, I will tell you is this is a custom map that I've downloaded um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called off the top of my head. Um, it's on the um, Steam Workshop. It's a very, very nice map to let you know. Um, has a bit of everything. Rail connections, sea connections, a nice lakes, uh, nice amounts of land as well with uh, designated specific areas like fertile land, oil, or etc. Um, and uh, I've unlocked uh, the entire map with a mod as well. Uh, I don't want to be restricted uh, with n just nine tiles. What we're going to do is try and fill out the whole entire map. Um, uh, however, uh, we have not unlocked achievements, so we'll be going through the achievements uh, step by step. Also, we have... Uh, Increased this into hard mode, so I won't be doing this in standard mode. We're actually going to be trying and to really challenge ourselves here So we'll see how we go with hard mode um, And another thing that I've to uh, downloaded um, to make things a little bit more realistic is a simulation mod for the traffic which um, They will never despawn if they're stuck in a bit of traffic they will always remain and try and deal with trying to get through the traffic one way or another and will never despawn so just for the realism sake so uh, you know what we'll get straight into it then I guess eh? alright so I'm not gonna start here where our designated starting area is I actually want to start somewhere else but to unlock some of these roads I'm just gonna create that so that we unlock many more roads and now with that I'm actually going to start uh, we're actually gonna start building so let's get straight into this alright so let's build ourselves a main road right over here like so And now, what I'm going to do is make streets come off this. So I have a bit of an idea of what I want to do. Essentially, is I'm going to have. How am I, I wonder if in hard mode, if construction costs a little bit more. So we're going to have to be very careful with this. This may take a little bit longer than usual. So what I'm doing is making sure that I can zone some housing. However, make sure that there is some sort of a gap between where I'm going to have my commercial and housing. Um, okay, so the next step that we are going to do is uh, we're gonna make perhaps like a cul-de-sac or something over here. That that would be pretty pretty cool, I must say. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got this all laid out over here nicely. So I'll create a nice little cul-de-sac over here, and another nice little cul-de-sac that will be heading in this direction. However, first, I'd like to increase this by another four. I think that's four. And just 
drag this along over here like so and a nice little cul-de-sac right over here and perhaps another one right over here so I've got a bit of variety happening in this um, town and what I'm going to do now is uh, place a water tower uh, over here people might not be too happy with this but I'll, I will be able to move it later on this is just utter and completely temporary now uh, we're gonna try and make our water pipe system as efficient as possible so in order to do that there is a trick and what we're going to do is in which direction do I want to take this now that's the question I'll take it in this direction okay so you go up to the magical number of oh it's not showing up okay so let's go from here then 450 I'm not getting the numbers that I thought I would get um, that may, might be making a bit more of a challenge okay in hard mode anyway we'll see um, I'll go to 450 and just tag that along oh that's not enough okay so I'm gonna have to figure this out on camera well here we go normally you go to 440 or something like that and that's your magic number but we're playing in hard mode so the numbers might be a little bit different here now okay so anyway uh, so I'm gonna guess that we're gonna have to go up to like 550 yes okay so we're gonna be doing 550 zones uh, with the water connection so we'll go up like that and we're going to need more roads in order to be able to connect something here so what we will do is extend this road out by another two blocks like so so that we can potentially create a extend this later so we'll go to 550 and just create a guide for ourselves like that okay so for future reference I'll just extend that a little bit more okay now uh, so we're gonna have water connected without a problem okay that's done now we're going to need electricity and electricity is gonna have to come from the coast because that seems to be our best area to get maximum amounts of power production however I'm struggling to find a spot where we can get maximum output no over here are we able to get maximum output wow it's a bit different in hard mode all right well I guess then we'll have to just place it as close as we can so we'll just place it right there and now we'll just drag this along all the way to our water so our electricity and water is connected now what we need to do is um, now what we need to do is sewage we need to dispose of this sewage somewhere so what I'm going to do is dispose of it over here as close as possible to our electric electrical connection now I'm hoping that that's all connected which it is and now I just need to connect this water connection up like so okay done so we've got our sewage outflow pipe connected and we've got our water connect tower connected uh, we've got electricity 
connected. Um, we're going to have to create some dirty industrial sites and I want to place that as far away as possible because later and it, this is going to be temporary because I want to put it on the other side of the city where it's not going to be affecting the city as much so what I'm going to do is just extend this pipe all the way up to here oh, gee that's expensive and drag this down by two okay and hopefully that will be enough space for industry for the time being now um, I would like to create a, in, uh, a basic road where we can enter so what I'm gonna do is make a road which goes out by two blocks yep that's fine and we'll create another road which goes in from here and goes out by two blocks and we'll just see if we can join this up nice and smoothly not really liking that particularly much So we'll create the road, say, from over here. Go out by two. And now let's see what we can do. There we go. I like that a bit. It's a bit better, but I can fix it up later. That's just temporary for now. Okay, so... Right now, uh, I guess we can start developing this town. So, we do have power, electricity and everything, so what we're going to do is get straight into it. And I'm going to zone. Because um, I'm going to want to create little paths in between. So, if I put a 4 there, and a 4 here, that should leave me enough space. So, to add like a little path in between. So... For the time being, we'll leave that empty and we'll just zone this whole zone up. And let's start our simulation. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully this won't take too long. You're complaining about no electricity, but you should have electricity very soon. There we go. Yes. Okay. And we do have an entry point into the town, so that's good too. Okay, so we've got our first people moving in. Currently 400 in debt uh, per week. So hopefully we can fix this up relatively quickly. I'll put another block of four. So just add more housing, more residential into this area. Hopefully it won't take too long for these people to start moving in. And at the same time, I'm going to start offering uh, some commercial zones. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Perhaps I should create my own little park over here to include right here. That's the size of a 4x4. Four four. So we'll still think about it. We'll see what happens. Alright, so people are slowly, very slowly moving in. Alright, and what I'm going to do now is I have to think of where to add. So if we go 4 and 4 across, what does that leave us with a 2 over here? I'm not really liking that too much, to be honest. So I'll remove this, remove this, and just add all of this up, like so. That works a lot better. Yeah. 
Okay, I can work with that, and we'll figure out what to do with the uh, sides in terms of perhaps putting like some sort of park parks. Um, right, so we're making a lot of debt right now, so we need a lot of industry. So we'll zone this all up with a bit of industry. Right here, like that. And this industry is going to have to be connected to the power. So while we still have a bit of money, we'll just try and get the power connected up as soon as possible. <coughs> Alright, so you should have power and electricity, which you do. Perfect. I can zone a bit more industrial. <coughs> up, there we go. That's all good. And now let's see, how are we going electricity? Fine for the time being. Water, sewage. Why is the sewage not operating? It should be operating. We are connected to the power. And we are connected to the system. Maybe it needs a bit of time to kick in. water and so why are you not working upkeep no water drain pipe the water drain pipe releases waste yes I know that uh, there we go you're operating now as soon as it's required it turns on okay so pause quickly let's zone more housing now I'm taking it a bit slow because the stars are absolutely essential to be able to get right so that you can start developing and moving forward with your town otherwise you can get into debt and find it very difficult to exit and especially since we're playing on hard mode I don't want to kind of fail mid-series or anything like that so we're trying to challenge ourselves as well and with this, because progress will be a bit slow, I um, probably will be doing a, a quite a bit of a work off camera too. So we'll be constantly coming back and doing a few updates um, to show what I did as progress off camera and then do little episodes where I continue to do a little progress here and there. Um, but hopefully the majority you'll see. And I'm just curious if you guys would be interested if I actually do record some of the stuff that I do off camera and perhaps do like little um, uh, fast forwarded previews, I guess, where you can watch everything that happens. So say if I do a session of about one hour to two hours working off camera um, with just no uh, vocal without me talking. Um, if you'd guys be interested in seeing like a fast forwarded hour session say in 10 minutes so that you can kind of keep up to date so I think that might be a nice idea so we'll see how we go with that let me let me uh, know guys so for future episodes you can really follow this city and the way it progresses very well right, so we're meeting our demand for residential which is very very good we're still making minus 400 in uh, losses every week but we are having a lot of people slowly moving in which is very nice now I've got an idea because um, for my connections with the um, with the highway as you can see I've cr I'm not going to be making any connections with like say um, avenues or larger six lane roads um, because uh, they create lots of traffic with traffic lights with the on and off ramps and as you know we've got the uh, uh, no car despawning mod uh, so we want to avoid having any issues with traffic whatever it takes that is uh, so I, something that I like to do is to add two single one-way roads um, it seems to work really well with managing um, on and off ramps as long as it's not in and I mean even in an industrial area it does do well to a certain degree um, which I guess we will show you I, I will be able to show you eventually 
for the time being. Um, uh, it's, yeah, as it is, so... When we get to it, I will be able to show you. And I'm really looking forward to that, uh, showing you how the, that system works. So we've zoned up all our residential area right here. And it looks pretty good. A few cul-de-sacs, uh, a few dead ends. It's, yeah, very, very nice. So we can't build any more streets because we have no money. So, and hello, we've reached our little goal of Little Hamlet. And what we have is landfill sites, medical clinics, elementary schools, perfect. So these services we will have to provide uh, very soon. Because um, as they get unlocked, uh, I'm sure you've watched this, these um, City Skylines videos for quite some time. However, uh, as soon as you unlock these new achievements or little goals um, and unlock these services, uh, the, your population, your sims in uh, your city actually do require these services to actually start up and go in. So what we're going to do straight away is you get a little bit of cash bonus too when you uh, reach these little milestones which is nice so right now I'm going to create or extend our little area like so okay so what I need to do is drag this out to here or where to anyway first we need to add more industry right over here just for the time being and why not over here and while we have that operating and done I'm going to extend how are we doing with water not too bad so it has to go up to 550 and then up. Okay, so we've extended that so we can actually start expanding our next residential area to here. Now I'm thinking we can actually create a bit of a curve over here. So out to here. out to here and let's see if we can just create a nice little curve no like so hey that works excellent so we've got a bit of we're gonna have some bit of variety uh, being introduced and I'll zone all of this up as well as residential now I have to speed up the game a little bit as the game slows down, goes to its slowest pace, once you get those little achievements or little goals, milestones, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I'll zone this whole area up as well because we're going to have a lot of demand uh, for this. And right now I'm going to actually in put in a medical clinic into this area. I'll put it in right over here for the time being. And our money has gone down drastically. We're only at 600, but we're making a bit of a profit. As long as we're making a little bit of a profit, things will go well. Okay, so we need to include a trash dump. So we need some money, that's for sure. So let's go into loans and take out our first loan. It costs us a little bit and it's going to put us into a bit of debt. Um, and we need electricity. Wow, this is getting very difficult now all of a sudden. To manage all of this, uh, we're going to have to put our rubbish tip in. And I'll put it right over here. So electricity is a big problem. And we're only just making enough electricity 
don't like that. So, oh wow, and look at that. When you place these, it takes away a bit of zone. Okay. Oh no, same looks like it, but perhaps not. Okay. Anyway, how much is this one generating? No, seven and seven. Okay, that's fine. I can't put down another one. Okay, so what do we need? We need a lot of residential. So let's zone this whole area up like so. Okay. Now I'm really looking forward with this challenge. We just got enough electricity, just, but it's a real struggle. And we need to expand a lot, but we don't have the uh, finances to expand. So wait, what we need to do now is manipulate our budget. So how are we doing with water? Water and sewage is perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is reduce our, uh, not healthcare, uh, we're gonna, we are going to reduce our landfill to 80%, our water down to 80%. Our education is nothing. Electricity. Uh, water, I guess you can, that works with sewage. So, okay. So we've reduced that a little bit. I guess we can increase our budget. There we go, for electricity. All right, let's continue. And now how are we doing? Making a little bit extra power. Okay, excellent. And water, we can even adjust that even a little bit more. Down to 60%. Alright, so I see that there's a lot of more... There's going to be a lot more little finicky things to do right now. Um, in terms of especially with the budget. You're gonna have to be monitoring everything like an eagle. And congratulations, a worthy village. Fire services, police services. Alright. Um, and some specializations and districts. Alright, excellent. So what we need to do is first uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we can't do any city planning, we can't do taxation. Damn. Okay, not a problem. So, this whole first area around over here, we are going to rename this into something. Let's get this district up and running straight away. So, what shall we call this? Thornton Hills? No, I've got a better name. Why don't we call it Velez? That's cool. All right. How are we doing uh, electricity? Well, not the best. So we'll increase it to 140%. Our garbage, garbage should be fine. Our water availability. Okay, we might need to increase that actually. So let's go back into our budgets and increase our water availability to 75%. Like that. Okay. And let's just continue the simulation for now. We are obviously going to definitely require more residential areas. So I'm going to do straight away just build an extra block. This is all connected with water. Yes, it is. So I'll connect all of this up straight away. It's going to be a very nice neighborhood over here. Um, so we've got our residents moving in. Hopefully our budget can get a little bit closer to 
to being positive, hopefully. And let's see, what else can we add? Road that goes in this direction. Why not? Let's just zone all of this up as well. Like so. And we will need fire services. I'm going to place the fire service right over here. Over here for now. Right over there. That's fine. We'll figure out what we can do later. Um, we need to increase our industry. Uh, do we have water connected here? Yes, we do. Perfect. So I can just expand the industry zone like that. We will require some more commercial. So let's just plop that in like that. Hopefully more residents quickly move in. How are we doing with electricity? Not fantastic. We can't afford any more wind turbines, which is not good. Now hopefully we can... Uh, we need water connections over here, so... 550 and across. Okay, so now you're connected with water. This is getting very, very difficult. Alright guys, so I'm going to end this episode here. I uh, hope you like what you're seeing. I hope you can see the kind of challenge this is already. I'm really having to monitor everything ridiculously, so there's no way, no chance, I don't think you can actually play this at full speed and have everything under control. It's just no way. I do not see it to be a possibility. Um, so yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. It's only the first episode, uh, but please do hit that subscribe button. So I'll keep posting up new episodes um, as often as I possibly can. And we'll, yeah, hopefully develop this into a beautiful urban designed city that we can all be very happy with. So, guys, till next time, take care. We'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.